Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the BEA. This is their part number 10, EMS-475L. This is a Panther, their uh, Panther, their line of Panther marketed um, wall um, switches, their Panther series. Let's take a look at all of it here. Uh, we'll do a visual review of the item first. Okay, let's take a closer look. And what is most um, convenient about the Panther series is the fact that the transmitter is integrated into the unit and you've never come in contact with it uh, really at all. There's the exposed plate, four and three quarter square slim profile push plate, blue handicap logo only. So what happens here is you have, of course, first of all, you have your wall plate. Okay, your wall plate obviously gets attached to the wall. Uh, fasteners. Your fastener package is included, and you've got you have machine screws uh, for installation. You might need to, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> it's for a, it's for a uh, obviously going to be for an application where you'll be able to use those. Well, the wall plate will go down, and then what really happens is the um, the box with the integrated 433 megahertz receiver. This foam comes off, obviously. Um, and then when that plate touches any of these activation points, you know, depending on where you're hitting the plate, it will activate. Uh, that will, uh, the transmitter basically is within, uh, resides within this space here. Now, this will install simply by locking these two pieces together and then just pushing it down and clicking it together and basically getting it to um, release is uh, probably done with that Allen wrench that's there. I, in fact, I know it's uh, done with that. You depress that Allen wrench, you'll be able to pull that off. Okay. Now, here's your plate and that, when you're all said and done, and you remove that foam, that is literally going to click into place. And you're going to do that by not pushing it on, but you'll use that Allen wrench to depress the spring-loaded posts. Okay, kind of like I did there and they will lock into the top and bottom of the plate. Okay, let's take a look at this information in detail. Okay, now a detailed view as we discussed. So what I like to do when I get the material is I like to verify that we have everything. So we have the what they're calling the housing key, and there are links below this video to the cut sheet, to the technical data. That's, that's more of a catalog instructions and the document that came with it is a different version but all the details are the same um, so your hex key is part number one I said housing assembly housing assembly of course is the business end of this your faceplate it's included there your locking tab part four yeah the locking tabs are, are buried inside of here your mounting bracket, part five. Part six is the battery enclosure, and we're actually going to remove those screws to look at the battery. Uh, mounting keys. Mounting keys. You know, just th these are the mounting keys. Um, I don't know why they're specifically calling those out, but they are. And then eight is the mounting holes. Okay, yeah, those are... This is not a bill of materials, it's more of a description, okay? Now, on the catalog, it does need to be stated that we are, there, are, there are several items in the Panther series. When we get to the cut sheet, we'll take a look at that. We are dealing with the 10 EMS 475L. That specifically means uh, a couple of things. That it is a logo only. There's no text only or no logo and text. Push 
or just push only. And also the other thing is that it's 433 megahertz. Um, you can't mix megahertz at all. Um, I think it's easier, in my opinion, it's easier for me to understand why that works is because I grew up with Ma Bell and then these, these contraptions, these wireless phones became available. Oh my gosh, I'll talk about megahertz. And we learned that it had to be the same. Meaning if you've got 433 megahertz receivers, don't buy a 900 megahertz transmitter. It's just not going to talk to it. To, uh, it's not going to talk to each other. So, uh, logo only and 433 megahertz. That's what that part number specifically means. And when we get to the catalog, we'll we'll, we'll be able, we'll just draw attention to that. And then I had briefly gone through the installation, and I I'm just not going to go through it again because the wall plate does go on. Your unit will snap into place. You will depress your retainers, your plate will go on, you're done. And, well, you're done and except that you need to program the receiver now and you would, of course, uh, use the receiver's installation instructions for that. With BEA, like all things BEA, it's incredibly simple. It's basically, it's easier than your garage door in the sense that it's the same as your garage door, hold and push the button until it flashes kind of thing. Hit your paddle or whatever the receiver says. It mates. It's done. It's easier because you don't have to go up a ladder. So super simple. Continuing on through the installation instructions, uh, they talk about. They basically say 900 megahertz receiver, 900 megahertz transmitters, 433 megahertz receiver, etc. Battery replacement. Now the 433 megahertz version uh, runs with a 12 volt battery, and I'm going to remove the screws here. Uh, I've done this before, um, and we're going to do that here. I'll pause the video while I remove these, these four screws. The installation instructions, they say not to over-tighten the screws at all. I don't see how you really can. They're, they're pretty tight to begin with, but over-tightening them um, because you're going basically into uh, you know, plastic. They're a fairly wide thread, so you don't want to, don't over tighten them at all. I don't know what's underneath here in the sense of if anything will come out, so I'm just going to, I have removed the screws and I'm just going to get curious as to what's happening in here. Okay, okay. So, that's just the exterior with our two retaining plugs that are here. I'm going to put that down. Then there is a weather gasket. That's here. The weather gasket will carefully be taken off. Be sure to put it down in the same orientation. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It appears to be completely non-handed. And then there's your battery, your 12-volt battery. See if we get the, and there's our sensor board. Okay. Let's get, let's have that come out again. This time. And again, BEA, the name is synonymous with ease of use. Obviously, pulling that little battery out won't be won't be a challenge. Uh, and that is your, I, I suppose that would be pretty much everything regarding the units in the sense of um, ultimately needing to get into and and then to service it naturally. Um, the advantage of BEA, uh, and you may not know their name. Some people don't. If you're in the automatic door business, you are incredibly familiar with BEA. But let's say that you are in the in the traditional door hardware industry. You might be doing um, radio control over low energy operators. That might be from Norton. It might be from Stanley. It might be from LCN. Um, who knows who else? The fact of the matter is, when you look at those products, you are going to notice some striking visual similarities. Um, and it would not surprise me if someone said, "Did you know BEA private labels all that material?" And I would say I did not know that. Um, and that is a uh, very interesting thing. The fact of the matter is BEA, I believe, is 
is a OEM source for many uh, manufacturers. Now they are not the only source. There are a lot of other people who do this stuff and do it well. Um, but BEA is the name that we like to work with because they keep it really, really simple and straightforward. On hand, prompt, predictable, reliable shipping. The product could not be any easier to work with. So that got us basically to the end of the installation instructions. Without physically installing one, we've gone over the primary steps. Um, you know, you know the megahertz, you know the battery that you need, the installation is detailed. And then after that, the rest of the document is simply going to talk about uh, the electrical characteristics, stuff that you're probably not very concerned with. Um, you know, I, I it, it, it probably doesn't come in too very often. Where are you going to use this Panther? Well, low energy operators um, is where you're going to use these, meaning you have a door that requires occasional handicapped compliance uh, use uh, for the handicapped um, so that it's an automatic operator and that there are no sensors involved. Uh, so it's a wall plate is what it is and it happens to be wireless. That's convenient because it's simple, simply this, you're not running wires anywhere. Um, you can do wired versions of their material, certainly. You can, you can wire that all back to your controller uh, on, your, on your item, on your operator. So wall plates, wall actuators go with low energy. Low energy means no sensors. It doesn't mean light duty, doesn't mean low use. It happens to be applications that are without sensors are those applications that do not act like the front of a grocery store. It will be occasional use. There's a bathroom and a restaurant we frequent. It has an automatic operator and wall plates on both sides of the openings. I can just push that door in and the manual closer, the manual operator and closer will just handle the operation of the door. However, if I needed assistance, I could push the, the at wall actuator and it will open that door, allow me to get in and then it will close that door until I'm done, hit the wall switch and then it'll open and I'll exit. So simple material. Uh, nothing else to talk about. Let's do this. Let's just quickly go through on the screen these links that are down below. Okay, now this is the item that we're looking at here, the detailed description which we're talking about. Uh, I did want to add the mention of the weather boot, the gasket I had mentioned. Okay, so that's really going to keep you operating um, you know, with the unit installed on the exterior of an, of an opening. You'll see these installed on bullard posts uh, in the front of a nursing home. And those bullard posts are not under the overhang sometimes. They're exposed directly. And a panther would be really great for that application. And you'll certainly see panthers like that. Wireless and waterproof, four and three quarter. Plate arrives fully assembled with your transmitter. Installation time is the mechanical installing it and then going to your receiver and allowing programming. Tamper resistant recessed plate. So the beveled edges means that once this is snapped into the housing, there's really no vandalism that you can do unless you're really intent on destroying something because the beveled edges tuck back within the housing and giving you an incredibly clean and smooth look. All active plate made of durable stainless. Indeed, the entire item weighs 1.35 pounds. At least the whole thing does. The stainless is probably responsible for most of that. Um, all active, meaning anywhere that you touch the plate in an outside upper or lower corner, you're going to get activation, okay? Not only in the center. The dimensions, you know, it's overall five and an eighth, five and an eighth basically. ABS plastic and stainless steel, and again, 433. Now, cut sheet, that is going to be obviously a technical drawing of the item, should you want to see it in detail, which I'll hit it with the tape measure before we're done. Then we'll be able to look at technical data, and this is really more so of a cut sheet, is what I would call this, and I'll probably rename it to that. And what's really handy is you're going to see the Panther series right here. I had talked about the fact that we're doing the 10 EMS 475L, and that means 433 megahertz, logo only. Okay, you can do six inch round, four and three quarter round, four and three quarter square. That's a nice schematic showing all of it. Incredibly easy. 
NEMA 4 rated enclosure. If you are looking for something, you can, you can do an internet search for what NEMA 4 is. It's a rating for the enclosure itself. Applications of where it's used. 304 stainless for the plate. Moving on, we're going to get to the instructions, and that's with your document. And while the document is not identical, it is all it is all the information is identical. I'll, I will say that. Installation instructions. Now this is the exact document that's in with the package, just a newer version. And I like to keep the old stuff and keep the new stuff as well. Good for referencing. Okay, let's finish up this video on the camera. Now, finishing up on the camera, um, did want to take that, take the dimensions of the housing. They say it's about 5.12. I'm seeing it about five inch. Um, I don't think the wall plate adds anything to it. No, it doesn't. Five inch by five inch, a little bit light on that. And then what I we what I was saying earlier about the beveled edges is that when this gets tucked into the housing, really not much tampering that you can actually get involved in because it's going to tuck back into the outer uh, lip here, the outer trim of the unit. All active, meaning I can hit that plate anywhere and activate those four different points where the transmitter is activated. And again, I'll depress my springs, I'll slide this in and my springs will release and it will look super slick. Oh, huh. I was I wanted to snap that in, but I don't want to pull the foam off because that's going direct to a client. So I we're not going to install that. Uh, so we've got the dimensions, and we talked about the beveled edge. Last thing I'd like to point out is the link below this video to the manufacturer's page, where you can pull up not only all of the BEA products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. I'm very partial to BEA for um, the following reasons. They are incredibly prompt, predictable, and reliable when it comes to just shipping orders. We stock a good clip of it here. Um, some of it we don't because, frankly, we don't need to in the sense that the manufacturer has the material on hand. Uh, so the high end, I, the higher ticket items that um, we'll keep them in smaller quantities, but if someone needs 10 of the magic uh, switch. Uh, units, we won't keep 10 of them because BEA does such a great job at drop shipping that material. So we will uh, lean on them for that. The smaller piece parts where someone needs a cherry switch or a single transmitter or a receiver or a, um, a BR3, a, a relay, we'll keep those and we can get those shipped out really quick. The Panther stuff is really absolutely the definition of simplicity which is BEA as well. Their people are super nice. Their technical support people are ultimately responsive, and they have a command and a working knowledge over the product line. There's not a lot that you can go wrong, not much that can go wrong with the material, and it's wireless, so you, know, you can really use their product line to do lots of stuff. If you want to wirelessly control something and you throw one of their relays into the system, you know, what what do you want to try to wirelessly control? An electric strike? Sure. Um, automatic door operator? Obviously, that's what these are made for. You know, whatever code will permit you to really handle. They're inexpensive. They're easy to install and they work. And that's just the bottom line. Um, I don't even hear that often when batteries need to be replaced. That link to the manufacturer's page, you can pull up all the BEA products we sell, a link to their website, and then a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the BEA, this is their part number 10, EMS475L, 433 megahertz Panther, with a logo only or any other BEA product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.